I'm going to show you how to make an explosion book. Some people call these a smash book. I think they're really fun to make and they're super cool. Check this out, you untie it. And there are your book pages. Super awesome. All right, let's get started. What we're going to be doing is measuring our paper and marking off our squares so that we can make the pages for our book. So uh, it's going to look like this when you're done. And here's how you do it. We're going to take a piece of paper and a ruler and mark off three and a half inch intervals. So line your edge of your zero up with the edge of your paper like this. And then at the three and a half, make a mark, seven and ten and a half. Scoot it up about halfway. Line up your ruler again with the zero right on the edge of the page. Mark it three and a half, seven and ten and a half. That gives you three and a half inch intervals. And then up here at this end of the paper, same thing. Line it up with zero on the edge of the page. Three and a half, seven, and ten and a half. Now we're going to draw lines that go all the way across. So since my ruler is short, that's why I had to make the line right in the middle to measure it so I can go like this. And then I can slide it all the way this way and complete those really long lines. It's okay if they're if they don't line up exactly because this is just the lines that you're going to be using to cut your shapes up and this is going to be the back of your page so they won't really show up you just want them to be about the right size so draw all three of these lines And now we'll turn our paper this way, and we're going to do the same thing along this edge. Line this up with the zero right here on the edge of the paper, and same thing, three and a half inch intervals all the way across. Three and a half, seven, ten and a half, and now we're going to move our paper back over, line that one mark up with the zero, three and a half, and seven and we'll do the same thing along this edge of the paper right up here at this side put a zero put the zero at the edge of the page three and a half seven ten and a half slide it over zero that out right there on the mark three and a half and seven now we'll draw the lines that go across this way. And that is step one of your explosion book. Put your name on your paper and what class you're in. And we'll be decorating the other side of these to be the pages in our explosion book. 